Okay, we're leaving. Say goodbye to your Uncle Charlie. Bye, Uncle Charlie. You don't have to go, Jake. See? <laughs> Get in the car. But he likes me. I'm not bluffing, Charlie. If you're not willing to acknowledge me as an equal member of this household, then I can't live here anymore. Is that all it'll take to get you to stay? Yes. Bye bye <laughs> Jake and I need a place to sleep. Only because he's too cheap to get home. We need a place to sleep. We have nowhere else to go. Oh, wonderful. Be right there. Are you sure we can't sleep in the car? <laughs> Then he said that I had no place in his house. Can you believe it? My own brother. He likes me. Hey, when I want your opinion, I'll ask for it. And then I said that if he's not willing to acknowledge me as an equal member of the household, then I can't live there anymore. So, this is about a bull. No, haven't you been listening? Frankly, no. I don't feel bad. I thought it was about a bull, too. <laughs> So look, uh, Alan, I just got back from a long business trip and your mom and I were about to catch up. Uh, would you like to sleep in your father's car tonight? Actually, yes. <laughs> look, look, we're sorry for barging in. Jake and I will just bunk in the guest room. Come on. Now I'm really getting tired of this where I go, you go stuff. <laughs> Great. Now we have to put on clothes for breakfast. That's the least of our problems. All our leather gear is in the guest room. <laughs> Teddy and I had a fight. Anyway, I'm sorry. I love you, and I miss you, and I want you to come back. What if I want to put a bowl on the coffee table? <laughs> Nothing would make me happier. As soon as they leave, I'm tearing off your clothes with my teeth. Terrific. <laughs> <laughs>